Look at me. I'm a doctor and a comedian. <laughs> That's messed up. I became a doctor because I'm Jewish and my parents made me. <laughs> and I started doing comedy because I'm a bad doctor. <laughs> You know that expression, four to five doctors recommend? <laughs> I'm the fifth guy. <laughs> what do I recommend? I'm guessing three out of four times. You kidding me? I make stuff up. Dr. Miller, what's the diagnosis? Uh, cooties. This is cooties. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some things about being a doctor that you've never heard before and you probably won't like. We don't like to touch a lot of you. <laughs> See, I laugh. Was, <laughs> who's he talking about? <laughs> Look around, it's obvious. Chances are, if you don't want to touch him, we don't want to touch him either. <laughs> I mean, I don't like touching people I don't know in general, let alone something's wrong with them. <laughs> I had some guy come in and had some fungating crap on his arm. Here, look, I touch it. No, shit, no. <laughs> Here's an envelope. Go home, mail me a piece. <laughs> Wrap in cellophane. I don't want to touch that when it comes through the mail. <laughs> you know, when you're in a public place and someone says, is there a doctor in the house? We shut up. <laughs> we don't want to get involved. I was at a restaurant a while back with my family having dinner. Some guy fainted. Before I could tell everyone not to say anything, my wife jumps up. He's a doctor. He can help. <laughs> Shit. And then everyone in the restaurant's looking at you. You got to go over and say something doctorly, like, hmm, better get him to a hospital. <laughs> My food's ready. I'm not messing with this. I mean, all right, I'll do long range CPR. Especially true on a plane. I don't like to fly. True story, about a year ago, I'm flying back from Austin, Texas. I did a week's worth of comedy. It's Monday morning. We were up late Sunday after the show, and I'm flying back home. I just wanted to sleep. As soon as we took off, I hear on the intercom in that cool pilot talk. Uh, <laughs> this is the pilot. Uh, if there's a doctor on the flight, please identify yourself by pushing the flight attendant light. Uh, so I waited a couple of minutes to make sure there wasn't another doctor on the flight. <laughs> and all right, so I pushed the button, flight attendant comes up, she goes, you're a doctor? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm the fifth guy, but I'm a doctor. <laughs> all right, come with me. So we start walking through first class into the cockpit. Oh. Honest to God, the co-pilot's having a heart attack. It's a 737, plane's pretty big, but the cockpit is surprisingly small. My head is here, pilot head's here, co-pilot head's here. I look at the pilot, look at the co-pilot, he's all sweaty and pale and grabbing his chest and classic signs of a heart attack. So I said to the pilot, we gotta land. And he said, okay. And I thought, that's power. <laughs> You put this bitch down. <laughs> you put this bitch down now. <laughs> I was feeling good, man. I, was, I grabbed the microphone. Uh, this is the doctor. Uh, we'll be landing in El Paso and free drinks for everybody. <laughs>